hit licks. One of my niggas got rich. One of my niggas got fits. One of my niggas, one of my niggas, one of my niggas cut grass. One of my niggas did dash. One of my niggas come through no cost. One of my niggas gon' smash. Uh, welcome back, welcome back. It's episode nine. I'm here with my boys, Mike, Kof, and Steve. What are you telling me? What are you telling me, fam? Good, everybody. I ain't telling you a damn good. thing. <laughs> well, uh, we got a special guest here. Uh, Mr. Mikhail McIntosh in the building. Can get a round of applause, please. Round of applause. Good, good, good. Big bro. Big bro. Grass. One of my niggas did dash. One of my niggas come through no cost. One of my niggas gon' spaz. No, I feel like he's everyone's big bro. How, how no, you doing today? <laughs> I'm good, man. I'm good. I'm just... You know I mean? Burst. But, I mean, as I live in, you feel me? Burst still. <laughs> um... <laughs> ever... Look at Kofi. Hey, Kof, if you have any questions about any slang, ask him. Oh yeah, no, it's, it's all coming up. This podcast, it's all coming up. Uh, I got, I got some questions for you, man. Still, this the message still. Still, still. Now let's uh, uh, let's 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 get into these questions. Pause. Um, so the pause, bro. That was, that was excessive. But, uh, that was excessive, bro. Um, you got to enough with the pausing, bro. Like, <laughs> what? Macau bought a pause. Crazy. If anybody, oh, crazy. Don't worry. <laughs> But um, so Makai, uh, what what age did you start hooping, and um, what was your uh, who was your biggest influence growing up? Um, I started hooping at like like six, seven or eight around there somewhere. Uh, I wanted to play soccer first, but uh, everybody kicked me out of the league because I was like taller than every kid by like a foot. So they're like, "Yo, go hoop, go play basketball." So uh i decided to play basketball and, and vince carter was my guy so vince carter was one of the main reasons i even like fell in love with basketball and stuff because to us in canada he was like the goat at the time you know what i mean so he was like our michael jordan kind of vibes or our lebron james my fault um and you know there what i mean so yeah, so, so yeah yeah so so that's how i felt that's how i felt about vince so wait so real quick merv they wasn't they wasn't letting you play soccer just because you was tall yeah, I was I was like a foot taller than all the other kids. Like I was like big as hell, and I it wasn't like I was good. I sucked, but they just like I was just too big. So they were just intimidated for. <laughs> they were intimidated for, so they weren't rocking with me. So I was like, all right, whatever, man. That is nuts. But um, so I know as time went on, um, you went you went to the states at an early age. Um, tell us about your experience, just leaving home early, um, to go to prep school and stuff like that. Well, man. Well, that's when I was like 15 and I left by myself. Uh, I went down to North Carolina and I mean, it was a grind still. Pause. Um, just to, just to, just to you know, I mean, get to where I, I needed to get in my career. So, I mean, a couple of times, a couple of weeks, like we wouldn't eat. Sometimes we wouldn't like, you know what I mean? Like it was, it was a wild time. So like our house got broken into. When I was in North Carolina, it, was, it required a lot of growing up. So I kind of grew up fast. Like I was like, I felt like I was grown, like about like seventeen. So, um, so yeah. Then I went to North Carolina. I was there for like two years, and then uh, my senior year, I went to went again to North Carolina for like a month, and then I went to Kentucky for like I forget how long, but I don't remember. That was a long ass time ago. It feels like you're in prep school for you're in prep school for a minute, so. Oh me? <laughs> I was in prep school for a very long Easy. time. A very long time. Wait, what school? What school? Uh, even if I said it, you wouldn't know, bro. I was born. <laughs> <laughs> I went to I went to Christian Faith Academy, uh, Christian Christian Faith Center Academy in uh, Creedmoor, North Carolina, and then went to uh, Twenty Two Feet Academy. After that, Twenty Two so, Feet yeah. Academy Legends store. Relax. Wait, is that, wait, wait, was it was twenty two feet where you played Oak Hill or was it the? No, I played Oak Hill every year. I played Oak Hill. My, oh, yeah, yeah. Uh, yeah. I played, I, I played Oak Hill. Yeah, three times, three times. Wait, what was the? Uh, yeah, go you go ahead. Nah, but you better ask. Um, when you played Oak Hill, who's on the team? Bro, I don't remember. I just remember them niggas were disgusting. Um, <laughs> the year that the year that there was one year where they were like chill, all of them were like chilling, bro. Like, they were like chilling, and then um. Uh, Quinn Cook, he, everybody broke because Quinn Cook was there. I forget who else was on his team, but he was like the leader, and he was just like, you know, what I mean, he was just chilling. He was just, everybody was chilling because our team, you know, what I mean, obviously their team is way better than ours. They were chilling or whatever, so we're up by like ten points, bro. 
And then like one of our one of my teammates, a man named X, decided to start talking crazy to Quinn Cook and those guys. And when I say they started doing windmills from like the free throw line, started hitting half court trades, bro, they turned up to a million. We lost by fifty. It was the craziest thing I've ever seen in my life. All because so, of X. Uh, all because of X. So the man got him heated. But X was hooping still, so I can't even, you know what I mean? X was hooping. Right, so. Shout out X. Shout out X. Shout out Quinn but, Cook, looking uh, from PG County. Yeah, he was cooking still. He cooked the hell out of us, I'll tell you that much. Um, our, I think our greatest ones were like against Finley when we played Finley Prep when they had Anthony Bennett. Mm. Um, bro, Michael, who'd they have again? Remember, we got blasted. We lost oh, like uh, what's his name again? Uh, Winston Shepard or something like that? Was it? Was oh, he? yeah, yeah, yeah. They had Winston was there? Shepard. Was Nigel there? Yeah. Nigel was there. Nigel Williams Gross. You guys remember Nigel? You went to he went to Gonzaga, right? Or yeah. Like that? yeah. Um their team was, I mean, shoot. The team was stacked though. The team was disgusting. Um, no. But um, actually, yeah. Who's wait, who's who's the who's um the best player you played against actually in prep school? Because you played against a lot of people. Good question. Bro, that's a hard question. Everybody always asks me that. But we played, I played against Wiggs, but he wasn't like he wasn't like doing it at the time. He was just chilling. Yeah. Because obviously we all knew each other, so yeah. we were like just playing, but he wasn't like killing. Oh yeah, I remember that. Yeah, I do. Um, yeah. um, when we played Huntington Prep, yo, there's one guy, bro. I forget what his name is, bro, because it was like my my freshman year, like whatever it was in, in America. And Kaze would remember. Kaze is one of my best friends. He, uh, we remember because he was disgusting. I forget what his name is, but yo, he like went for like. 40, 20, and like 10. Murked him. Oh. Killed us. It was disgusting, bro. And he was like 6'9, could shoot, was dunking on everybody. Was, I forget what his name is because he's like not in the league or nothing right now. But uh, but yeah, he's killing us. Yeah. I was like my that was like my freshman year. I was like, oh I didn't even know it was like this. So <laughs> those are 2K stats. What the hell? Yeah, <laughs> man. Jokic right there. Yeah, I was killing him, bro. Holy. So now, like, just transitioning to college, like, how was your, like, process through, like, you know, being at Illinois State for four years and then uh, going on to Oregon? How was how was that whole uh, journey? Well, yeah, the journey was, obviously, I told you guys about my high school journey, but because of a lot of my high school journey, I didn't, like, make it necessarily to be in school. Like, I wasn't supposed to be in school, essentially. Um, but then, so I ended up having to gray shirt, and I had to go to Illinois State. But at the time, I had, like, offers from, like, uh, Oklahoma, uh, what's it not Oklahoma? I tell you about. I had offers from UCLA. Oh, that was UCLA, Miami, uh, University of Florida, Memphis, and I had all these schools that ever. And they wanted me, but then they saw my grades and shit. And they're like, "Oh, you're yeah, it's it's not it's not good still." So, so I had to go to Illinois State. Went to Illinois State for four years. Had to sit out, do a gray shirt year. I don't know if anybody's ever heard of a gray shirt. But gray shirt's essentially like where you're a red shirt, but you cannot do anything with the team. Like, you know how red shirts like practice with the team, they lift with the team. Like gray shirt, you can't do anything. Your name's just on the list on the team, but like you're not even see you can't go in the locker room when the, the game's on. Like damn. You have to sit, you can't sit on the bench, you have to sit on like up top and kind of things like that. So it was like an experience for real, for real. So um that's what it was for gray shirt. And like that entire year, I like got up at every morning. Like I got up like every morning, like six, seven, trying to put in work, like getting ready and, sh and getting ready for like the, the next year. And that shit didn't work at all. That was terrible. It was the worst idea I ever did. I should have just got lit the entire time. It was cheese. Um, <laughs> it's cheese. Um, because like I was just working out by myself. So like I was just putting myself through workouts and I was just doing the same high school workouts. Like I didn't know how college was. So they couldn't put me through any workouts. So obviously when I got down to like actually working out and playing with the team, I was like, yo, like this is faster. This is way different than I thought it was. So um, that's why I was like, I, I felt like it was a waste. Cause I was like a regular student, but I got like, I was treated like a, I mean, like a college athlete. So it was, it was actually blessed. I just never took advantage of it. So, yeah. um, and then, um, yeah. So then I did my, the, the next three playing years at my state. Um, and then decided to transfer to Oregon. Um, which was interesting because they were one of the offers I had in high school as well. Wait, so. wait, wait, hold on. Tell them about the whole, um, if you want, about the recruiting process after that, like, the grad transfer process between Oklahoma and Oregon. Oh, um, no. Nah, so I was like, I was fortunate enough to have some teams want me after when I said I was transferring. So then like Oklahoma wanted me, but this is the year where they did like uh, the test of waters. They just started that test of water thing for the NBA. So, like, 
if you want to test the waters and go to the the like do draft workouts, you can do draft workouts, but then you can still come back to the school if you want to. So like I was in, I wanted to do that, but then I also wanted to transfer. So that became like a whole like difficult process because I was supposed to visit schools, do all types of stuff. So when I visited, I was supposed to visit Oklahoma, but Oklahoma wanted me to visit and I had a workout like I think the day before or the day after or something like that. So like it was like a whole like process of me going to like Minnesota from Minnesota to Oklahoma for like I, I was there for like a twenty four hours, and then um I think I went to your graduation like after that or before that. After no, it was, it was, no, I remember it was before and then we dropped you off um to the airport and you went to Minnesota then Oklahoma. Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah. So that that's how the process was. So, um, it was interesting because you know I mean I I almost played with Trey Trey Young because that was the year he was in and. Um, when I went to Oklahoma on my visit, he was asking me to come play there. He was, like, recruiting me, like, at the time. Twitter was a little different. So he was, like, shouting me out, trying to get all these Oklahoma people to follow me and all that type of stuff to come to Oklahoma. And um, the only deciding factor, like, obviously, if hindsight was, like, you know, hindsight is twenty twenty, like, I would have been like, oh, yeah, let me go play with Trey Young. You know what I mean? But at the same time, I did enjoy my time at Oregon. Um, and some of the reasons why I didn't go to Oklahoma, I still think that they would have been – problems and you never know what happened so uh, oh, decided to go to Oregon said you know what go ahead go ahead no I just decided to go to no, Oregon I was about to ask so, uh yeah. was Peyton Pritchard your teammate that year yeah he was how yeah, was uh good. how was it playing with him playoff P uh, <laughs> uh, <laughs> uh, <laughs> um it was nice playing with him man he was young so and he just came out from final four so it was nice playing with him as my dog uh um uh, he did a lot of learning that year because he was like, he didn't know. It was like a very difficult year as at Oregon. Like my year I was there, it was one of the worst teams Altman had um, when at Oregon. So it was it was bad to be a part of that history because the year before I got there, they went to the Final Four. The year after, they went to Sweet 16. So And the year I was there, I went to NIT. So I was like, bro, hot. But um, but it was nice playing with him, man. He, he uh, did a lot of growing. You can see why he's in the league because he like every day after practice, no matter how hard practice was or light, he would go to the other end and like just do the same thing every single day. And I, every day I walk out of the gym, I see him doing the same things, and these are the same reasons why he's in NBA right now. So um, it was dope to play with him and see him and where he's at right now. Uh, special shout out to Illinois State. Shout out Tony. Shout out Pili. Shout out Teddy. All those guys. <laughs> P. Lee. The P. Four Lee. horsemen, huh? Okay. Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah. <laughs> but um, um, many people don't know, but uh, your uh, uh, professional uh, journey has been you know, from South Korea to Raptors 905 to Belgium to France to Australia, Japan, and now with the College Park uh, Skyhawks. Um, how's that been? You know, you've been all over the world, and it's been a blessing, of course. Obviously, you got to experience different places. How's so? How's that? How's that been? Uh, so it's far, cool. it's cool, man. I think that um. Um, like during the moments of those stuff, like you don't really think about it, you don't really sit back and be like, "Yo, like this is pretty cool." Um, so I do a lot of reflecting nowadays, and I'm just like, "Yo, like I got to, I mean, be in like France, I got to be in Belgium, I got to be in Australia, Japan, like all these places." So yeah. the journey has been long, and and during the years, they're very difficult. But like I think when um I look back on everything, everything was like super like fun. Right. Like, I can think about um. South Korea was a little bit, obviously, I was only there for like four months, three, four months. And then obviously went to Toronto, 905. So that was blessed because I was back home. Yeah. Um, and then went to Belgium. So I was in Europe for the first time. And that was a challenge, man. That was a challenge. But it, everything started to turn around. And then COVID happened. So that like sussed me. And then from um, from then I went to France. Um, that was a difficult year because COVID still was kind of running things. So we had we played games with no fans. Or a couple fans, and we, and we wouldn't play games for forever. Like it was a, the the season was like was all over the place. So that was that was um one thing in France. But then I got a chance to go to Australia, which I was like, super excited about. And um, I think if I'm talking about like off the courts, like off the court, even on the court a bit, but off the court, like just living lifestyle wise, I think Australia would probably be up there with uh, 905. I had lots of fun when I was there. Like. It was cool just to be around English as well and people that speak English and, and stuff like that. So that was a vibe. And then uh, from there, I went on to Japan last year. So just been all over. Um, basketball is different in every place you go to, um, usually. The way you play, the way people play, how tough it is. So I've had all different types of difficulty in basketball. So Yeah, that's good. 
So, so um, taking a turn here. Actually, this is gonna be a uh. Tell us about your uh, experience on the the, the rapid parade. Hmm. It was actually rapid nine to five. Yeah, you, you mean you could give us? Oh yeah, yeah, oh yeah, yeah. You know, what I mean, you gotta skip over the good parts. Yeah. Um, but the but now the Raptors, the Raptors of parade, bro, is legendary. Um, as you know, because you were there. Yeah. Um, it was legendary still. Just being a part of like the first time the Toronto Raptors, I mean, wins win the championship in basketball. Like that's crazy. Like, like even when they win it. Like, if they win in the future, like, they, nothing will top the first time. Like, the first time, bro, like, every I felt like every person in Canada was in Toronto. Right. Like, the place was packed. Like, we are supposed to only be on the, the parade bus for, like, what, two hours? Two, we, two. Ended up being on the, we, we ended up being on the parade bus for, like, eight hours, bro. The bus wasn't moving. We were lit. It was just, like, a great time, like, just being a part of that. And, you know what I mean? Acting like you're on the team. Like, man, I was, like, acting like they're shouting, taking the shirt off, getting amped, you know what Ooh. I mean? Taking pictures, all that vibes. The whole time. Oh yeah, I was like, they like they thought I was Kawhi at one point. I was like, what? It doesn't make no sense. Um, hey. And whenever people, whenever people asked, I was like, yeah, I'm Norman Powell still. So, so you know what I mean? It was like, uh, um, so like that was a lot of fun, man. That was a lot of fun. I think that um, that was like a top moment that I've had probably in my life because that yeah, that was lit. That was a lot of fun still. That's so tough. I seen the one meme of what's the name of Marcus saw took his shirt off, then just shotgun the beer. That was, was yeah. Him. Oh, we were right beside him. We were exactly. Right I see. Him. Oh. Yeah, yeah. Michael. Was yeah, right but I, him. I do remember everyone's tagging us and saying like, "Yo, is that you?" I said, "I said, yeah, fam." Like, man, just, oh, Mike, Mike had, had the buzzy fam. Mike had, had buzz. way. Yeah, the what? buzzy fam. Yo, honestly, bro, if I knew this, I mean, the backstory. You to me, the, yeah, you didn't have the. Yeah, you weren't prepared. So I was prepared. Like, I, <laughs> like literally, like I didn't have. Well, I had, did I have change of clothes. I had change. I had change of clothes. I didn't have a cut. I didn't have nothing, fam. I wasn't. I had nothing ready to go. It's crazy because it, it was Father's Day, I believe, the day before, and um, I remember we were at, we were at uh we were at Auntie's house, uh, Auntie Annette's house, yeah. and um, you were like, you're about to leave, and then you're like, yo, are you coming with me or are you going home with, with mom? I'm like, I was sitting there actually contemplating, and, and I, like, made yeah, the, I, I made I made the probably the best decision of my life and said, no, nah, oh, easily. Because if I didn't, the best of life. then if I didn't, then I would have been I would have been watching McCown TV from home. Cheese. <laughs> Thank God, thank God I did make that decision. Thank God. Was, yeah, no, that that's, that's definitely tough. the first one. It was pretty fun. But um so you have your uh, podcast, Seeing the Ends with Dwayne. Um, how's yeah. that been? How, how's you know I know you're a movie, I mean these guys don't, but I know you're, you're a huge movie guy and stuff like that. Um, how's that how's that process? How's that journey uh going with your podcast, seeing DMs? You know, I mean it's cool. Um, you know, as all of us we play basketball and basketball is like, you know, what I mean, I think that we always do and always have done so um it's cool to like get out of basketball and get into different avenues and try to test different things out so i mean i love to watch movies my boy my boy duno likes to watch movies so we just decided to like tell people about movies like you know what i mean from a perspective of like us right. like, you know i mean not like some person proper man that's like sitting up here you know what i mean like uptight like now nah, like, me and Dwayne are gonna watch every movie you know what I mean? And some of the movies we love wouldn't be movies that people expect. So I think that's like the the look, the, the best part about the podcast is that like you assume that we're one way, but we're another. So that's tough. So it's been dope. So I rock with it. Shout out to DMs. It's on uh, Spotify and uh, Apple, I believe. Yes, correct. Yes, it is. Um, And also on YouTube. So you, man, subscribe. Yes, so I know Kofi subscribed. I, I was I the think. first subscriber. <laughs> I got it. Right, yes, on, right on the train. <laughs> season, season three coming just now. It's still season three coming just now. Say less. Say less. So, so I do know as well. I'm trying. I'm trying. I'm trying to get two chains on an episode. Still, holy. I get two chains in the episode. Oh yeah, I, I forgot he's talking. over there. Yeah, yeah. Titty boy. Okay, he's, the on, he's the owner. Still, that'd be so, tough. Okay, titty boy. Two, yeah. chains. two chains. Okay, <laughs> I'm different. But, um... <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> yeah. but um. So um I know music is uh you know something that helps you every day. Um so what's what's like your pregame playlist like you know before a game or even just during your workout? What like who's what songs are like which artists? What did the man say? What did, what did the academic say? Drake, 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 Drake. <laughs> the man said academic. <laughs> Yo, just like Yo. y'all Yo, are twins, bro. You guys are no Damn, different, no man. different whatsoever. God damn, get off that nigga dick. Sorry, no, I'm just <laughs> hey man. 
Drake the goat. I know. Yeah, he's tough, bro. bro. I don't know, man. He's okay, tough, okay. Bro. How about anybody besides Drake? Is there anybody else? Yeah, besides I mean, Drake, Drake. Besides Drake. Mainly. Uh, probably. Uh, probably. Uh, Thug or Gunna or. Okay then. Uh, <laughs> listen to Cole. Listen to Cole. <laughs> okay then. Uh, um, young boy. Bro, nah, hell no. Nah. I'm speaking oh. nah, I ain't If he hates that, when I play bro. young boy around him, Steve, I promise you. Damn, bro. Bro, my brain cells can't handle that kind of vibe. I'm saying, let me see what I have. <laughs> no, 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 imagine Steve. My nigga, this is 24-7. Huh? I, I said, now imagine Steve. This is 24-7 with him. Yeah, bro. D&D bro. man's stop. I got yo. I, I listen to a variety of music still, so I can't even say one artist. I listen to like all types of music. Honestly, so. if, if you want to get hip on artists, you talk to Mike Bradley. He'll put you on with some artists. <laughs> oh, Mike will tell you. Yo, Mike, 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 <laughs> go go ahead and tell him some artists that you listen to and see. If this nigga listen to everyone in every state, bro. This shit is weird. I was about to say, I only listen to like Michigan for real. Like that's the like under, 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 underground under artist, Mike or what? Yeah, hey, bro. Go ahead. Whatever you feel that like, you know uh, you should know. Maybe Tron, Rio, the young OG. Y'all want me to say that? Kind of, oh, like, oh, like, oh, you know Rio. No Rio. You heard of no cap? Yeah. Turn turn them on 24-7. Uh, I don't know what kind of vibe Steve, you know. Breeze, Breeze, cap is now, Steve. Like, you acted like that nigga <laughs> underground still. Breeze, Breeze, Breeze. I was, I was with him when he was underground. That's why. Wait, Makai, you know who, little, uh, who Mike was named? Dirt, dirt Ball? Dirt, dirt Ball. Hell, no. Dirt Ball. <laughs> Don't even type that in. Don't type that in. Oh, my God, you're in Atlanta, so I mean, you got all the... You, you I forgot know. he is an ATL. That is right. People be people be rapping all the time. You get people just on the side of the street just rapping. Get a, <laughs> that's, what, that's what that's what that's uh, what that's what likes to dead job, cold, man. right? Try to get a job, no, this bro. is different though. This is not ATL. Walking, this is walking Pittsburgh. Out, walking outside and see man's rap on the side is crazy. Freestyle yeah, that's acapella, where RT, bro. That's, that's where RT, freestyle bro. acapella is crazy. No beat, just straight going. Like nah, bro, you're good. Uh, I'm straight, brother. Man. Like Langston and Pitt doing that right now. Shout out Langston. No, no, ATO, That's I can understand it, but you're not, you're not about to be rapping in this <laughs> room, bro. You're not. Cove Goodman. That's not my oh, good Langston, you know his last name, Cove? That's an acquaintance. That's acquaintance still. Yeah, right. <laughs> but, um, now we're going to do our rapid fire. So I'll turn this episode off. Um, Mike, I'm going to start with you. So, Mike, um, who's the better actor, Denzel Washington or Will Smith? Damn, Denzel, no Shit. doubt. Shit. All right. Uh, your favorite genre, movie genre? Yeah. I'm gonna just go comedy for all right. Favorite movie of all time. Of all time. Damn. Damn. All time. That's hard, money. I can't I don't got what's, what, okay. Time, what's bro. what you said what? What? No, I'll say you can pick a movie that you would probably like you could watch anytime, like every day if you had to. Like Mike for sure. Oh, oh my god. Uh, Mike, this Mike, Mike is a nut. nut. This nigga's a nut, <laughs> fool. <laughs> um, <laughs> what's your favorite what's your favorite animated movie? <laughs> Animated movie. Oh, um, Spider Man. The one wow, like the uh, Spider Verse ones. Yeah. Yeah. Good pick. Um, at the movie theater, what's your go to order? Yeah, Should be popcorn, large drink. Drink. Yeah, popcorn, <laughs> large drink. Yeah. Oh, you know you love popcorn. Subtitles or no subtitles? Subtitles or no subtitles? Got to be subtitles for sure. Mm-hmm. If it's anime. I do it with any. I do any show. Bro. That's just me though. Give money me heist. Heist. Yeah, money heist for sure. Yeah. Money heist. Oh, uh, uh, Mike, last one. What's uh the worst movie of all time to you? Damn. Damn. Worst movie of all time. Worst movie. Uh, shit. I don't know on that one. I don't got an answer. All right. Uh, Cole, we'll go you next. Better actor, Denzel or Will Smith? Mm-hmm. I'll say Will Smith. Yeah. Mm-hmm. I'll, I'll say Will Smith. Favorite, favorite movie genre. Mm-hmm. Um, I'll say sci-fi, comedy. Uh, yeah, those those are my two. No rom com. I got. You. I mean, that's part of comedy, right? No, we gotta add the rom. No, 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 that's... no. You have to have the rom. Right. The rom is different. Yeah, you got. All right, it's different. Rom, man, like, man, like rom. <laughs> oh, you can oh, get lit in the back, huh? Oh, he huh? can get lit already. Not your choice. Oh, he can get lit. <laughs> Don't worry. Yo, what's wrong, Denzel? What's wrong, Denzel from Flight? Yeah, sure, Flight. <laughs> um, what's your favorite movie of all time, Cole? Uh, Holes. Oh, uh, Shia LaBeouf. 
Oh, you are those men are hoes. I thought he said hoes. I thought he said like Jay Z or something. Those men are hoes. With his chest, the man's are hoes. Um, what's your favorite? What's your favorite animated movie? Animated movie. Um. Oh. Uh, I don't know. That's a that's a hard one because I could go. Yeah, skip skip me with that one. Skip me with that one. All right. What's your go to order yeah. at the movies? Uh, gummies and a small soda. Come on, gummies. Gummies <laughs> and small soda. You sneak. <laughs> that nigga's a, this nigga's a nut. <laughs> Have you seen the price of a medium and large? Yeah, that's you want some Chao Cinco <laughs> shit, bro. Pause. Here y'all um, go, bro. That was that was a, that was a, uh, what does he mean by medium? <laughs> <laughs> what does he mean by medium? <laughs> um, uh, Cole, uh, subtitles or no subtitles? Uh. It depends on the genre. So if it was like an, uh, anime subtitles, oh, yeah. everything else, no. Yeah. I can, I can well, hear it, nigga. <laughs> <laughs> what's, what's the worst movie of all time? Do you, you have a worst movie? Or... Worst movie of all time. Or something that you watch, you're like, bro, I'm not watching this again. <laughs> Steve, why are you laughing, bro? Go ahead, bro. <laughs> mm, I don't know. That's a hard one. Uh... Yeah, skip me on that one. All right, Steve, now it's you. Who's a better actor? Will Smith Denzel. 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 Denzel, okay. Favorite, favorite movie genre? No matter. I watch everything. Man, goes. Not... Yeah, it was a lie. You ain't watching no rom com, dog. What's that? You know, you, what do you call it? You said you called you call it a rom con last Rama, time? Yeah. Rom con. <laughs> you crazy. Uh, what's your favorite movie of all the time? Uh. I can I'll say Friday after next because I can watch that and watch watch the full movie anytime. Every time I sit down, anytime. Nah. anytime. Goated. Yeah. Shout um, out Pat Williams, bro. Man <laughs> says, <laughs> <laughs> "Shout out Cat Williams, yo, get <laughs> yo, <laughs> oh, Steve, bro, get the heck out of here." Um, what's your favorite animated movie? Spider Man. Same thing as Mike. All right, Cat. It's not Cat. I love Spider Man. <laughs> get off my dick, nigga. <laughs> Damn. <laughs> Jesus um, what's your go-to order at the movies? Um, large, nah, medium popcorn, extra butter, and then a little uh blue raspberry freezy jump, icy jump. I mean, yeah, and I'm good. Wait, exactly. Like, okay, so sometimes or no sometimes. That wasn't a pause though. Bruh, come on, y'all. Go ahead. Nah, he said, he said popcorn. Bro, I'm, 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 I'm just saying, if, if he said a medium popcorn, that how's that game? You know, bro. Everybody. <laughs> And no, then, it's the way you it's COVID. It's the way you said medium. You said it like you know what I mean? <laughs> medium. Like you know what I mean? You said it with a little, not drag like, the medium. <laughs> medium. You know, you know what I mean? Stop it. <laughs> medium. Uh subtitles or no uh, subtitles? It depends on the uh show or movie. Um you have a worst movie that you will never watch again? Shit. Uh damn, Micah. No, nah, I don't. Yeah, yeah, all right. Well, Damn, I don't know how, how y'all don't have a word. Yeah, I, have, I, I easily have one. But, um, um, I'm trying to think. We'll come back to you, if anything. If, if y'all, yeah, if yeah. Mike, Kofi, if y'all have one, too, just we'll come back to you. Wait, yeah. bro, I got a question. Did y'all see Did y'all see that picture of bro who jumped the, the judges' stand? Yo, yeah. Please stop, please stop, please stop. Please stop. <laughs> yo, 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 no, no, no. Let's I'm trying about. not to laugh. I'm trying not to laugh. <laughs> bro, <laughs> video is insane. Oh, oh so they put a muzzle on him. Still. I seen that. They put a muzzle on him. Still. Oh, see, look, oh, that's insane. You look like he's about to go into the end. Bro, do you understand how high you have to jump to clear one of those stuff? I don't oh, really? you need to understand how high you need to jump, bro. Perfect for him. Did he jump off a one or two? Because there's crazy. I don't know. It looked like two, though. It looked like two. It couldn't oh, he's a two super nigga and, for sure. And to clear it is crazy. That's crazy. He's a super nigga for sure. Bro, easily. <laughs> that was a card. Uh, Makai, what's your uh, who's better actor, Will, uh, Denzel or Will? Will. Hey, on, yeah. Fair movie genre. Uh, rom com. Next movie. A fair movie of all time. Uh, a goofy movie. An animated movie. A goofy movie. Good. <laughs> uh, go to order. Uh, a large popcorn, a large root beer, a root side beer. of some um, what's it called? Uh, Maynard's uh. Cherry blaster pasta. 
and um and yeah and a and a blue slushy a, a twist a blue a blue and a, a red slushy. Bro, y'all niggas are twins, bro. <laughs> Uh, subtitles or no uh, subtitles? <laughs> Yo, this man just got uh, the whole menu. Subtitles, bro. easy. And Worst movie Mike. of all time? My fault, go ahead. I'm tripping. Yeah, worst movie of all time is either it's a toss-up between Downsizing with Matt Damon and or um, Aquaman. That shit. Both yeah. of them shit's ass. ass. Yo, Mike, Jeez. what you over there drinking? Uh, sparkling grape juice. Oh, you over there drinking it like a 40 or something, bro. Yeah, that's he, that's he what you're just... saying. That's Mike, what Mike, you s- Golly. <laughs> bro, pour it into a cup, bro. Jesus Christ. <laughs> All you need is a paper bag over. You looking sweet. Yeah, yeah damn. Uh, I'll go. But um, better actor, I'll go Will. Favorite movie genre, action. Favorite movie of all time, Drumline. Favorite animated mm-hmm. movie, Inside Out. Pause. At the movie theater, my go-to order, um... What do, you, what do you mean by yeah, yeah, okay, Hold on, hold on. I'm not done yet. Right? <laughs> uh, go to order. Uh, I'll say a large popcorn, large Sprite, and some candy. Um, Subtitles for sure. Like, it doesn't matter. And worst movie of all time, I'll go Bird Box. Oh. Really? I didn't like it. That's one, second, one second. I, I would love to ask. I would love to, I mean, dive more into that. More into that. Dive more into what do you mean, that. What do you mean, dive? <laughs> <laughs> no, I, I, I just... Saying, why I, don't you... Why, why you I just didn't mess with it, bro. It was just kind of like... The, it was overhyped. That's, I think that's why I expected more since, like, you know, I was on Twitter and everyone was like, yo, do watch this, this, this. And I'm like, I watch it. I was okay. Like, okay. I can understand that. I, I think understand it was too much that. hype. If, if it didn't get too much hype and I watched it just on my own, I feel like I would have been like, oh, shoot, this is tough. Nah, that's real shit. If you like yeah, that. Um, yeah, they just like they overhyped that job. No. Yeah, it was cool though. Oh. It wasn't terrible though. Yeah, it wasn't, yeah. Okay. yeah, I wouldn't watch it again for real. What's your thoughts? What's your thoughts on this NBA season and who you got winning it all? Well, as long as LeBron James is still playing, you know, what I mean, he needs to win. So, by any means, mm-hmm. um, I'm trying to get a call up to the Lakers right now so I can do the dirty work because clearly none of these men are doing it. Man, I'm telling you. Um. um but um, but I think the season's been been interesting. Still, I, I just watched a video on YouTube about some man talking about how like st- statistically, like this, like these seasons that have been coming, like these last couple of years, including this year, have been like record-setting seasons by like a mile. Yeah. And people are like, oh, maybe because of the inflation of some, some, some. But like the the game pace per like whatever is like the same as it always has been and stuff like that. So it's actually been super interesting to see. Um, how everybody's been playing, and obviously being with a team um, that is affiliated with the NBA team, you get to see a lot more and stuff like that. So everything's just been super interesting. I think um, hopefully the Lakers can pull it off, but uh, but see, this has been interesting. Shout out, Brian, man. Shout out, Shout out Brian, bro. Go real goal. You feel me? Get my man some help, man. Darvin, Darvin, get, get your hands out your pockets, dog. Jesus. <laughs> they just, they just, they, they just signed a man to a two way that oh, he's a guard that got thirty three rebounds in the game the other day. Oh yeah, damn. Yeah, guard. Thirty three, thirty three as a guard is crazy. In one game. In one game. Broski's off a perk, fam. Off a perk. I don't know. I, I don't know. I, I don't know if there's thirty opportunities to get a rebound, but that's crazy. <laughs> I was saying, was he got uh, the whole game. Wait, side oh, note, no, side, side note, side note, side note. I just, I just got to know this question for all you man. So say a record, a record label gives you 200 mil, right? <laughs> but they said in order for you to get that 200 mil, you got to get a lean gut. Well, would y'all do it? What you got to get a what? A lean, gut. lean gut. So, you know, like baby face, lucky, all the, all the mans, a lean gut. Nigga, hell yeah, I'm going to get it. That's 200 <laughs> mil. Bro, a lean Bro gut. that's a lean gut, though. You know, That's a hard gut. to get away with. I can work I that have no idea what a lean gut is. It's like, bro, it's like... Uh... It's like that's it's like worst type, I mean, like a beer gut, like Gucci like man gut. in two thousand six. How how big he? Oh, yeah. you're talking about like an actual gut, like a yeah, lean yeah, gut yeah. that gets fat, essentially. No, uh, but the lean gut though, it's like it's, it's like those sharp ones. <laughs> you gonna say sharp? <laughs> <laughs> what sharp about it? Your stomach. You can tell when a man has a lean gut and it's just fat for two hundred m's. For two hundred. Why would I care? What? No, okay. I can run that <laughs> off okay. easily. No, 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 no. You, no, can't, you can't run it off. That's still. Fun. Yeah, I'll get surgery. Got two hundred M's. I can do that. Yeah, two hundred M's. You could definitely get. You could definitely fat reduction. Come on, fam. I'm no, not even supposed I'm, to be fat. I'm not no, supposed to be fat. No, what I'm saying is, so, what I'm I mean, saying is, 
like you have to stick with the lean gut forever for that two hundred m. That's fine. Am I like drinking the, lean the, every day? Nah, I still. I'm, uh, nah, I'm not drinking no more lean. Guy. I'm good. So. Well, you're dying after you get that two hundred mil. I guarantee that. <laughs> That's what I'm saying. Nah, fam. Two hundred mil to die, fam. That's basically two hundred m's. You're gonna take what it right back. Have a gut like that. Nah. No, but that's wanna, probably yeah, like I don't want to pass out going up the stairs, bro. I'm good, so I don't want to do none of that stuff. So, what's the point of having 200 abs? You can't do nothing with it. I, I just have to ask. That's all. I mean, I'm just saying, ask. just to say, if a man's doing some extracurricular activities, a man can't breathe. That's a bad look. <laughs> that's a man can't breathe. <laughs> so, well, do you think that's like a part of like negotiations, though? Like something like that in order for you to like get that money? It has to be. It does have to be like. Uh, no, nah, not a league up. It's saying that, though, like a, a circumstance. Like Cat Williams said it already. You have to you have to give an example if you have one. <laughs> Man, look, Cat Williams. Cat Williams said it, but they they these these uh comedian they dressing up dressing up in dresses, bro, for money, bro. Y'all ain't I'm watched good. the podcast, bro. Well, I watched. I ain't I watched the whole thing, but I'm saying Thug Thug been doing that. I don't I don't care. He got. Oh, no, he said things. comedians. He wasn't talking about Thug. I know, but I'm saying he been doing that. So I I mean, yeah. me looking at it, I don't care. You want to dress? Good for you, bro. <laughs> Cheers. Yeah, dress is crazy. Still, I don't know about that. Lock in the uh. I'm, 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 I'm gonna watch that one. Though. I'm gonna watch that one. The full one. Fire for that. Fire for that. No, no, fire for that. Fire for that. Shout out Delhi. Shout out Delhi. But now, nah, <laughs> um, Mikhail, we appreciate your time. It's um for uh, pulling up on the podcast. Um, I uh, appreciate you, you my dogs. Busy, appreciate y'all. Appreciate y'all. Uh, thank, thank you, fam. Thank you. Thank you. Everybody, thank go you. watch. Everybody, go tune into Scene DMs with this boy Dwayne. Yes, sir. Scene DMs on IG. Uh, they're on YouTube, uh, Apple, and Spotify. Um, Put all of it. We'll this is episode it. nine. From oh, 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 oh! When you what? when you in DC? When you playing DC? Uh, I think February. So, Say play against the go go. Yeah, go go. go. Shout out, Talk to the city, baby. We here. <laughs> all right, bet I'm in there. Yeah, say less, man. So I'll tell you when. I'll tell I'll tell Michael when. So I'll let you know. So bet. So. All right, all right, man. I appreciate you having me on. Yes. Pause. Oh, crazy way to end the pod, fam. That was his love, that love was big, bro. Love. <laughs> to end breeze, the podcast breeze, is crazy. Breeze, Holy breeze. Jeez. You know my team. My fault, still. My fault, still. But all right, man. Then. Bless up. Appreciate you guys. You already know, fam. Appreciate, appreciate you. you appreciate brother. you, fam. All right, love, love, love. <laughs> round, round time with a hitch. Bad bitch, love a good pen. In LA, I'm stacking my chips. Young Don going hard from the tip. She need love, I said, baby, don't trip. Seen things I knew I was in. Jewish letter can't get rid of him. Be the case, all my niggas gon' win. Whoa, all my niggas say slack. Young Don put my name on a plaque. Daytona, I just did a dash. Rick Flair just got another bag. Russell on the lakes, he ass. I heard you going outside.